Well, I, I think um, testing are probably, apart from the vaccine, testing is one of the most important tools we have in terms of trying to uh, keep control of the epidemic. Imagine you have a uh, thousand people who are infectious. And if we can identify, let's say, 800 of those people and they isolate, we know not everybody will isolate, but still, if a mar large proportion of these people isolate, we will stop a lot of transmission. So I think testing is very important. And yeah, I agree, it might have been underestimated and probably more in the US than in UK. Uh, Professor, um, just this morning, the UK announced that for England, in England, um, people will now be able to end their quarantine if they've tested positive for COVID after seven days, provided they provide negative lateral flow test results on day six and day seven. And you're hearing reports of people clearing this virus a lot faster than earlier in the pandemic. What do you make of this public health move to cut down the isolation time? And um, do you expect that the data will show that as a result of um, vaccinations and better underlying immunity, that people will be clearing this virus earlier than they were previously? Well, I think we are still waiting to see the results of this. But uh, I've been thinking about whether this is a, a good move or, or not. <clears throat> and I, I actually do think it is a good move uh, for two reasons. We, we know that most people are not infectious for more than seven days. So when you get to day seven or six of your isolation, most people will no longer be, be infectious. And then we are using a test on, on top of that. So you have to have a negative test on day six, and you also have to have a negative test on day seven. And I've been looking a little bit on the sensitivity of, of that. And if we say a single test has a sensitivity of around 90%, if you combine the sensitivity of the two tests, you're up at 99%. Uh, and that means we have very few who would be uh, false uh, negative, also taking into consideration that we only have maybe, let's say if 10% are still infectious at that time, it would be less than one in thousand uh, people who would be false negative after that. So I think it is a sensible move uh, right now to cut it to seven days. Also bearing in mind that other countries have similar uh, time limitation on the isolation.